plenty of Madden action to get to. Kiv repping the Seahawks. Noah repping the Eagles. It's bird v. bird as it's going to be young Kiv with the ball first. Yeah, two great heads of lettuce like you said. Both these guys got great hair. You know, I love to see some great hair. And uh, I'm excited for this matchup. Madden Bowl on the line here for Noah. Kiv already secured his spot with those points. So it's a huge game for young Noah. How big would it be if Noah were to not only knock off two belt winners back to back, but in doing that, clinch a spot in the Madden Bowl? I mean, if you can do that, you've already cemented yourself now as one of the top guys. That would be phenomenal for Noah. 200 points on the line here. If he wins this one, he jumps deliverance, moves up to 1,200 points, and secures that spot. Oh, these quarterfinal matchups, TD. This is what we live for here in competitive Madden high-pressure games. This is what we live for. Who's going to go to that final four of the Madden Challenge? Is it going to be David in Young Noah, or is it going to be Goliath, the seasoned veteran, one of the best players on the circuit, Young Kiv? I've been looking on Twitter, TD. Noah's picked up a lot of fans over the last couple days. He's also picked up a lot of detractors because he's not afraid to speak his mind on the stage. He's not, but the one thing you love to see is that passion, that fire that he shows. Uh, that's one of the greatest things we have in competitive Madden. It shows that personality. You love to see it. How about your first EA Major Live final appearance and you have a chance to clinch a spot in the year-end Madden Bowl. What a way to storm onto the scene. He's going to start out on defense, facing this Kib offense. We know Kib's going to air it out. We know he's going to run with Eckler. Big hit in the middle. What a way to start the game. Oh. Yeah, great big hit right there. Kib coming out in that gun. Trey Y flex goes to the inside zone. Like we said, Kib in that Tennessee offensive playbook. He's going to audible around a lot, though. You're going to see a lot of different formations. Gun doubles weak. Gun bunch. Trey Y flex. Very diverse on offense. Murray dropping back on second and seven. Looking left side. That's OBJ. Odell Beckham to the 37 yard line. Kiv, he had to play a lot of games to get here to the challenge because he lost in round three to Allen by six. Then beyond that, he was able to go through Kwani, Carrie Q, and Hollywood to clinch his spot. Yeah, he had a tough road. And Nick, there's been 17 EA majors. Young Kiv has played in 15 of them now. Just an unreal stat. On the flip side, there have been 17 EA majors. Ooh, come on, Noah's Amos, let's go, baby. Played in one Grab of them. It. And what a way to start this Ooh, one. Ronnie Lott with the fumble Amos. recovery. The lumber being laid. Oh. Huge hit right there for Noah, and he can feel it. Wow, what a way to set the tone on your first defensive series. Wow, unfortunate for Kiv. What a play by Noah. TD, that defense is nothing to shake a stick at. Enunciation. We can see Noah come out on offense. Listen, he may have a lot of good players. He had a great draft. But there's one person that matters on this team. It's Chris Johnson. Yeah, we're going to see Chris Johnson every play. He's in that Denver offensive playbook. He's going to be in strong close, eye form tight. Look to see a lot of stretch out of that Chris Johnson. So much speed in the open field. So what a way to kick off this game. But we talked about it yesterday, TD, when we were calling Kiv's game against Wesley. Kiv has a way, he seems to start slow in these high pressure games, turns it on in the second half. Kiv threw seven interceptions in his first two games yesterday. That is unlike Kiv, so uncharacteristic. But the thing for Kiv here, I know he was up all night labbing with those 818 boys to find run defense for this Noah offense. Can't wait to see what he has in store. Noah comes out, I formation, CJ2K at the top of the eye. Hollywood Brown in motion. And it's going to be touchdown. Johnson bouncing oh. outside. He's yelling, touchdown. I don't know if he's going to get there. Let's oh, go, the man. spin cycle That's gets him there. Him there. He's Noah Stradamus with that call. Uh, that Yesterday, deep. young Noah, after his win, said, I'm ready for young kid. Let's go, man. Come on. What's up? And he's already taken the lead after a big defensive stop, up 7-0. Young kid, meet younger Noah. David strikes first. Come on, man. Let's go. You start Come off on, by go, forcing a fumble, TD. And then you get yourself yes, a touchdown with Chris Johnson on the first offensive play. I mean, let's let's take a look at this one more time. What an unbelievable run. Bounces outside, then hits him with the spin cycle. Yeah, kid was in that overstorm brave. He came up the middle, but Noah bounced it outside with a nice spin move and gets in the end zone. That's it, baby. Come on. Let's go. One stop. TD, Come it's on. a lot of fun because Noah's mom is here supporting him. Got to talk to her a little bit yesterday. She goes, this is not Noah at home. We sometimes forget he's in the house with how quiet he is. But the cameras come on, the bright lights are here, and Noah's here to be heard.
Kyler Murray's gonna take a That's shot. A look for OBJ. Oh my God! Ronnie he Lott breaks that. it up. He's so blind. Yeah, not a great read by Kiff right there. It looked like he had the crossing route wide open. Not sure what he was doing there, trying to take a deep shot. And like you said, Nick, yesterday we saw Noah's mom. She goes, wow, you didn't expect that, did you? And we definitely did not. You know, you love to see parents supporting their son in all their endeavors. So great to have family along with you on this journey. Murray's in trouble. And down goes Kyler. Telvin Smith down the gap. Yeah, bringing the heat right there out of that over G. You know, Kiv has had this crossing route wide open. He just didn't have a chance to throw it right there. And already a big third and 20 for Kiv down 7 nothing. This feels like one of those boxing matches where there's an underdog and, like, the champion, and the underdog just comes out hair on fire. Knows he needs to set the tone. Third That's and 20 off the Come seam. On. Give me that. It's Mark Barron. Go. He's got Run. room. Go. No one's going to catch on, him. Man. No what one is up? here to stay. Come on. David is showing up versus Goliath. Huge pick six for Noah, up 14-0. Oh, and Kiv is just playing some bad offensive football in this tournament. And if you're young Kiv, you're reeling in the corner. You've been knocked down. Oh, go kill There's him. still go plenty of time, but first three minutes yeah, has gone about as go. bad as it could have for the $225,000 career earnings as we look at our Snickers intercepted replay. Mark Barron says thank you very much. Yeah, Mark Barron just an easy pick for Noah into the end zone, and you can see the emotion. Can the comeback Kiv come back one more time? It starts here. Kyler over oh, the middle. Oh, almost a second man. pick. TD. It, is, has Kiv been space jammed? That's my question. I don't know. Kiv switched to that Phil Collins laid back music and it hasn't been great for him on offense. He might need to go back to whatever he used to listen to because right now these reads are not oh. on point. And there's the safe run to Eckler. A little swerve for Austin oh, Eckler. So a little bad, offense here for oh. young Kiv. TD, think about this. If young Kiv loses this match, Still plenty of time. Oh yeah, plenty. I mean, plenty listen, of time. What we saw yesterday, Kib did this exact same thing in two games, and you know he came back and won his group because he played better in the second half. He locked in, he focused. I love that play call. These last two play calls. Settle down a little bit. Run the inside zone. Think about what you need to do. Get your focus controlled, and read the field better. If he loses this match, though, we will be crowning a first-time belt winner. He is the lone belt winner left in the Madden Challenge. So this is big, also because if Kiv, Kiv's always said, listen, I really love my first belt, but to get to that two belt really puts you in the conversation of greatest players of all time. Oh yeah, and he said he fell behind Drini in that career earnings list. He really wants to get back up there as the top guy in the game. Well, he's got something going, second down to nine from the 43 yard line. Eckler and Murray in the backfield. Kyler over the middle, finds John Ross, oh, and Lord another Barron, big man. hit. Oh, oh, Noah's come defense on. has come out and decided to make some big plays over the middle. Yeah, these hit sticks are insane. I love the way Noah plays defense, man. He's so loose out there. He's trying to use her. He's trying to make a user play on every single play. He doesn't rely on the computer much at all. Quick Ooh. pass up. Look okay, at boy. Fletcher Cox out in coverage. That's a, that's a big defensive lineman. And Austin Eckler ran into a train. Yeah, he got stuck on his D-tackle, but he made another big hit stick. Man, this kid's stick work is phenomenal on defense. How much confidence does this kid have? 17 years old. He looks like he's been playing this game forever. First and 10. Let's go. Oh, oh the Come defense on. for Noah stepping up one more time. Cam Wake with the sack. Yeah, he gets some great sheds right there out of that over G. And Kiv, you know, back in this, now he's a second 18. Just hasn't got anything going. You know the 818 boys are pulling for Kiv. Oh, come on, man. Get it together. Three-man front. It's going to be that inside tackle, zone to Eckler. Tackle. Thank you. Maybe oh. picks up a yard. All right, TD. We're going to hit the end of one. I don't think anybody saw the start that Noah has had coming here in this quarterfinal matchup up 14-0. No, I don't think a lot of people did, but they didn't see that coming yesterday when he played the other belt winner in Ghost. And, you know, he played phenomenal in that game. Big third and 17 now here for Kiv. Knowing Kiv, he can be kind of aggressive in these situations. Look for him to, you know, get try to get the ball down the field for this first down. And I wouldn't even be surprised if Kiv went for it on fourth down. Kiv knows how important momentum is. In competitive Madden. 
Yeah, Beckham, this little block and release route. They'll look underneath. That's Marvin Harrison. Right. Oh, ball's out again. Picked Ronnie. up by Hayden. Oh, it's looking like a home depot with all the That's why we draft Ronnie. Oh, That's why we draft Ronnie. Come on. Literally. Wow, just hit sticks all over the field. I haven't seen anything like this. It seems like every time Kiv completes a pass, he's getting hit sticked, and a fumble has happened Come on, man. Come so on. many times now. This is, this is incredible. Clock this, go get points. Think Kiv puts on conservative. Definitely I mean, not. I mean, he... he I'm, oh, so you mean good. should he? Should he? Like, I mean, again, clearly he doesn't have it with two fumbles. But he, he uses those spin moves, those juke moves so effectively. You flip on conservative, all of a sudden you take those out of your pocket, but you re you significantly reduce your chance of fumbling. Yeah, I don't I don't think he's going to do that. I mean, we don't see fumbles this often. You know, once you, when you have big hitters out there, it will happen. But, I mean, these guys are just insane right now for Noah's defense. Uh, Noah has come out with a ton of energy. His defense has matched it. He'll run up the middle. He'll pick up one, third and eight. Even a stop here for Kib. Might get him to settle down a little bit. Yeah, I mean, this Chris Johnson's so good. I'm just noticing, like, he got, you know, he was in the back to right there. He still is so fast. He kind of can swerve him a little bit and got a one-yard gain out of that. Let's see what Noah goes to here. His patented third down passing plays when he needs to pass has been out of these single back formations with a delayed fade route from the tight end. But he's going to come out in this gun tray Y flex. We haven't seen a lot out of him with that. Noah in the ladders, 49% on third down. Number four in the tournament. Third and eight, Marcus Mariota, former Oregon Duck, the current Tennessee Titan. He's at quarterback. We've been talking a lot about Chris Johnson, but Mariota was a nice pickup for him. Gives him some mobility at the quarterback position. Yeah, it looks like Noah's going to audible down to a run here. Was that RPO? Look at Desmond Trufant coming up and making the tackle. Forces Noah into a fourth and eight. He'll pump the ball. Honestly, I don't hate the play call by Noah. He is so confident in his defense right now. You don't want to mess up this game. You have a 14-point lead. Um, you know, he, he's not confident in his passing attack as well. That plays part into it. So just a smart decision by young Noah. Think about this, TD. Again, if he's able to win this game, Noah will have knocked off back-to-back belt winners. He went one in two in group C. Was able to make it to the wild card game. You know who else went one and two in their group and went on to win a belt? A guy by the name of Dreen. One and two in his group and then went to the Madden Challenge in Madden 18 and took that belt home. It's a pretty good precedent to be trying to follow up. Definitely. 1,000%. Noah, man, he's ready for this stage. As we said, Noah next up is what he likes to go by. And if he can win this game and back-to-back -back belt winners, he is the next man up. Here comes Kiv on offense. No need to count out Kiv just yet. As we saw this yesterday, it seemed like Kiv's passing offense, a little staccato. It wasn't quite fluid, but that Austin Eckler getting mixed in at halfback was really effective. Yeah, Eckler's been huge for him in the passing game and in the running game. And Kiv's defense has just been so good. That's what's keeping him in all these games, you know, when he starts out so bad. But he can't play this bad of offense, especially versus a player like Noah who's going to run and run this ball. Oh, another risky throw over the middle. Just slightly late for Noah to get back there. As we'll hit the two-minute warning. Still 14-0. Yeah, Kiv has had trouble sneaking in that backside post out of doubles week. We saw that yesterday. He threw another risky one in there. He's going to go back to this doubles week here. Look for an inside zone. 14 to nothing the score. Can Kib get a touchdown before half? He'll hand it to Eckler. That looked like a little outside zone run, but that defense for Noah once again with the stop. Yeah, a little outside zone RPO. Might have had the bubble there, decides to hand it off, and now he's going to go with some tempo. Murray. Pressure. Tempo Down flash. goes on, Murray. As Cam Wake gets a second set. Oh yeah, unfortunate play for Kiv right there. He had a guy open, but, you know, he kind of got stuck in his offensive line. And these things happen when you have a, a smaller quarterback in the game with Kyle Murray or Russell Wilson. Third and 12. He'll look underneath to Odell Beckham. Spins back inside. He has the first down. Ah. Ah, Kiv getting a little sticky with it. Yeah, great strategy by Kiv. He has Odell at that tight end position on those baby drags. So once you throw it, you can spin back inside. Uh, great way to strategize and build your team by young Kiv. First and ten, it's Eckler trying to get outside. That just hasn't been there. The, it's been a nice job by these DNs that Noah has drafted to contain the outside run. 
Yeah, it has. I'm just so impressed with Noah's stick skills on defense. Seems like he's always making a user play on the ball carrier or the receiver. Second and 11. 48 seconds to go in this, what has been a surprising first half in our third quarter final matchup. So happy to have you guys along with us. The Madden community has been awesome over these three days, loving the competitive Madden. And it's a pretty big game coming up tomorrow that I know everyone's going to be watching. Look at that corner. That's Andy Isabella. Oh, so nice. A little toe tap on the sideline. Yeah, that play is so tough to stop that corner route with the backside dig. And Noah, uh, Kiv showed great patience because Noah bit on the, on the dig route and Kiv waited through the corner route on the sideline for a nice completion. Yesterday in group play, he... Andy Isabella had to make a couple big catches. As Murray on first and ten, he'll take off. First oh. time we've seen him take off, and that wasn't great defensive stick. Kiv takes the safe play and slide. Second and Clock's six. Clock's ticking. 20 seconds and counting. Murray takes off again, slides down for a first down. Kiv used that last time out. What's your play here, TD? Are you taking a shot at the end zone? Here's where it gets really scary now. If you're Kiv, you cannot take a sack because you will not have another chance at another play. So you got to be really careful here. We've seen how good the sheds have been from Noah's defense. Kiv's got to get the ball out of his hands quickly. We know Kiv's thinking about getting seven. He wants to cut this to a one-score lead before the half. But he's living in dangerous territory. As Noah will take a timeout, reset the defense. Yeah, good timeout by Noah. Think about what you want to do. Clock wasn't running or anything, so make sure you have everything set. This is a crucial play in this whole entire game. These last 17 seconds are very important for both guys. Into that gun bunch. Bunch on the left side as Murray drops back. Three-man rush back at the end zone. Oh, oh Marvin Harrison can't hold on to it. It looked like a pick. It looked like a catch. It ends up falling to the ground. Oh, my goodness. What a play. Both guys thought they had a chance at it. Neither of them come up with it. And Kiv's going to go to the end zone again. I guarantee he's going to take another shot. Noah was begging for the interception. Kiv can't believe the legend Marvin Harrison, big number 88, couldn't haul that one in. Second down and 10. Going to a little gun spread formation. Murray stepping up. Facing pressure, rolling out, seven seconds and counting. Broken play, he'll chuck this one out of bounds. I love the play from Kib getting outside the pocket and seeing if those receivers could find some open space. Yeah, it was a good play call. He tried to, you know, quick snap that four verticals, get the inside seams in the back of the end zone, but Noah was all over it, expected it, and holds him to three here at the end of the half. Another defensive win for Noah. Holding Kib to a field goal, the kick is up, it is good. Two seconds left, 14 to three. Yeah, those could be the biggest, um, that could be the biggest 17 seconds in this whole entire game because if Kibble would have scored a touchdown there, he's completely back in the game. Noah holding to three could be beneficial if he goes on to win this game. But if there's one thing we know about young Kib, TD, he is a second half player. Oh yeah, uh, definitely. I would never count young Kib out. This is a guy that has a belt, as we know. I mean, I look for big things from Kib in the second half. I think this game's gonna go down to the wire. The big thing is don't give, a give up a touchdown here. Make sure you make your tackle. Johnson at the top of the eye. Final play of the first half. Yeah, this can be scary with that Chris Johnson. Look at that. He doesn't even put anybody over the top of Hollywood Brown. Nate Solder at tight end, the big offensive lineman. 6-0 lineman out there. It's going to be Johnson, left side, trying to get sticky with it. Stop, go, and he is stopped. We have reached halftime. Kiv's going to have to channel the comeback. Kiv, he's going to stay alive. It is 14-3. Noah on top. Let's check in with James at the desk. Thanks, Nick. Think you are the best head-to-head -head Madden player around? If so, take your talents to Anaheim, California, where DreamHack will be organizing their next Madden tournament, featuring a $25,000 prize pool. Registration is limited, so don't miss your opportunity to compete against the best Madden players around. Visit DreamHack.com Anaheim for more information. All right, before we get you back into the game, the 17-year-old Noah is anything but bashful. Here he is in, a, in our latest installment of Audible. Touchdown, come on. Touchdown, come on. 
Touchdown! Let's go, man! That's sick, baby! Come on! Let's go! One stop! Come on! That's a pick! Come on! Scrim that! Let's go! Run! Let's go! Come on, man! One more stop! And this! Come on! Come on, man! All right, the Super Bowl is just around the corner, and what better way to prepare for glory than with Madden NFL 20, now available in the vault for all EA Access and Origin Access members. Play whenever you want, as much as you want. Conditions, limitations, and exclusions apply. CEA.com slash EA Access slash terms and Origin.com slash store slash Origin Access slash terms for details. All right, it's the second half of the Hair Bowl. We send it back to Nick Mazesco and T. Davis. We like to call it the matchup of the lettuce over here. It's nice to hear the players mic'd up and not only hear my voice yelling in the background, I got a little TD in the background of that audible segment. Second half, what does Kim have to do to get back in this game? Yeah, he's got to get his offense going, man. His reads have not been great. He's, I don't think he's seen the field well you know, in this tournament. He's really got to get dialed in, focused. But I got complete faith in Kiv, man. He's one of the best. I think he'll get it together and make this a game. One thing that's hurting him, Noah's going to start off with the ball first. But we did see at the end of that first half, Kiv's defense stepping up and getting a three and out. Yeah, definitely. He's going to have to tighten up this run defense. I mean, this Chris Johnson just so good. And Noah, if you're Noah here, you know, you want to just use, use some of this clock. You want to get down as far as you can. Coming out in goal line here, and Kiv counters it with a goal line look as well. Hand off to Johnson up the middle, nowhere to go. Is there a danger, TD, if you're Noah, of being too conservative here in the third quarter? Yeah, definitely. You want to, you know, methodically move the ball on the field, but you don't, it, it, like, if you get something, you want to take it. You don't want to, you know, take any chances of giving Kiv the ball back. So you definitely want to move the ball on the field and try to get some points. Young Kiv, of course, known as an offensive player, been described as robotic, been described as automatic, but defensively coming in the number one defense in the entire tournament. That is just truly, it's unkiv-like. Yeah, but I think he's a little underrated as far as his defensive skills, especially, you know, this year. And he's, he's, he's improved so much on the defensive side of the ball. Definitely an underrated aspect of his game. Hand up to Johnson, left side, nowhere to go. Only gave up 25.5 rushing yards per game in the ladders. In a game in Madden 20 where rushing has been king. Yeah, and I think Noah's a little uh, confused here. You know, he do, he's not really too sure what he wants to run on offense. And this is the, this is the point in the game where Kiv can definitely gain the momentum. The important thing to always remember, it's a four-quarter game. Kiv with a stop here is right back in it. Let's see what Noah decided to do. Does he try to throw the ball with Marcus Mariota? He's got Hollywood Brown and Debo Samuel at wide receiver. Noah loves this delayed fade. Let's see if he goes back to it. In the backfield, by the way, he's, he's also he's got Philip Lindsay at fullback. That's a quick little fullback he's got there. He's got a man over the top. Let's go, Debo! I think he just said he, 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 but anyways. What, 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 end, what, this what, game, what, end it. What, what, in the chat, let me know. What, what, what's with the oh, he's? <laughs> great oh play, though. Uh, wide open over the middle. I think that was like a mistake oh, oh, by man, Kiv because he ran the PA end deep cross. End it. And that deep post was wide open. No go one even him. in the vicinity. Go go Huge him. touchdown. 21-3. Yes. to three. Noah on top. Ah. Let's take a look at this one more time. TD, what was Kiv doing defensively? Yeah, he, he, just a complete lapse in the defense. He must have messed up his deep zone with the safeties because the middle was wide open. Come on, man. Come on. I, I think it was just a complete mental mistake, and Noah took Let's advantage go, wide man. open. Come on, I got dots. He, 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 he. Come on, one stop. He, 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 indeed. Make a play. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. Like, what? what? Uh, you think his mom has heard him he, he in the basement when he's playing? I don't know, man. Kids these days. You've heard of the who? Have you heard of the he, he, he? Great band in the 70s. First and 10, Kyler. Oh, that's oh. such a bag! Kiv is really in trouble here, Nick. This is terrible. This is really scary territory. If you're a no, you can just sit back now and coverage defense because you have all, you know, all the time is against Kiv right here. 21 to 3. Really difficult situation for Kiv to come back from. 
safe to say he's probably going to score a touchdown before the end of the third quarter. Yeah, definitely. you got to score a touchdown here. Whoop. Oh, he might have one. There goes Eckler inside the 45. Oh, trying oh, to so get a little stupid. sticky no, with a insane. nice tackle by King. And Eckler's been great for him, but that's the one thing. He doesn't have that breakaway speed, and we can see it there. You know, if, if Eckler was like a 92, 93 speed guy, he could be in the end zone right now and back in the game, but that he doesn't have that breakaway speed. Breakaway speed he heed. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, now back up underneath. Picks up seven. Look at that, nine catches, nine nine completions for Kyler Murray, but only 96 yards. He hasn't been able to stretch the field. No, he hasn't. He's had that underneath drag all day, but, you know, hasn't taken it a lot. He's trying to get down the field. It's just been so difficult for him. A lot of fumbles, a lot of shed sacks. 21 to three, he he. Oh. In the third quarter. Oh, look at Kyler. Swerving like a winner's day. Yeah, good stick work. Uh, Kip going with some tempo now. But that Kyle, that's the reason you use those Kyle, that Kyler Murray. He has so much mobility, you can get out of the pocket and get a nice little pickup. He knows urgency is at a premium. Murray, he looked at the flat. That's Austin Eckler. Possession catch the nine yard line. Yeah, nice play right there. Noah had no one in the flats. He hits that Taylor route for an easy pickup. And here we go. This is where it gets tough though, in this red zone. I think he's gonna try to go to a run here. First play maybe. Looks like he's going to audible around, find something he likes. Looks like he set up that little RPO. Only one defender on that right side. He'll throw it. He's blocked. Great play call. Can he get to the pylon? Trying to get around Lattimore. Just looked like Harrison was a little slow out of the break. Yeah, beautiful play call by Kiv. And just, you know, Noah kind of got lucky right there. He's able to shed off, clicks on, makes a tackle. He's at the two-yard line. Kiv, you wanted to score on that play. I bet you, that kind of hurts right there. But you got to get in on these, next, on these next two plays. You have to get in the end zone before the end of the third. Needs to get this in the end zone from two yards out into the goal line. He's going to drop back to pass. He's got two tight ends open. That's Shannon Sharp. Oh, so sweet. So Young Kiv is he not is dead yet. Yeah, beautiful play call right there. Noah definitely did not expect that at all. Hits a little quick out route to Shannon Sharp out of the goal line formation. And Kiv's back, back in the game now. He's got to get, get a stop. Seven. Go get seven in the game. 21 to 10, Noah. Still with the lead, but Kiv did what he needed to do. Scored before the end of the third quarter. Philip Lindsay, big hit. Kiv's begging back. for one. As, as we look forward, I mean, look at deliverance in the players on. He knows his chances of getting in the Madden Bowl via points. It's looking slim, looking bleak. No, the upset special he didn't want to see. Yeah, Noah's ahead of him right now on these standings. So deliverance needed Kiv to win this game. And it's going to be tough, but, you know, Kiv is a fighter, man. I, let's see what he can do. It, this is this is very akin to the NCAA tournament. You want, if you're trying to get in on points, you want every favorite to win. You're rooting for the guys who have already clinched. Exactly. Great point, Nick. Deliverance is praying back there, hoping that Kiv can get a fumble or something here. Well, just like that, we've only got five minutes of game play to go. It is 21 to 10, Noah on top as we head to the fourth quarter, presented by Snickers. I dig because suddenly people think it's okay to talk on speakerphone in public. What was that? Oh, nothing, just some lady digging a giant hole. Digging a huge hole. As we take a look inside the Snickers Players Lounge, Deliverance eliminated from the Madden Bowl. If Noah wins, it puts you on that LCQ track. And TD, all the guys here are just looking to stay off that LCQ track. Henry, he's already clinched his spot. Yeah, a lot of these guys have. And you got to congrat congratulations to the guys that have convinced, uh, con that have uh, got their spot clinched. I got <laughs> you, the word. Or convinced. <laughs> They've convinced their way into the Madden Bowl. Clinched their spot in the Madden Bowl with the points. Guys like Kiv, Boogs, Lil Man, Rage, Mills. Congrats to those guys. It's hard to do. It is a grind in the MCS. Second down and six for Noah. Noah up next. He wants to be Noah up now in the semifinals. Mariota drops back to pass. Pressure. Pressure gets there. Mariota is bent in half like a pretzel. 
Wow, I mean, what a play call. I, everything was open. Button, man. I, I, I think he wanted to pass it. He kind of he was trying to catch Kiv off guard. It was a good play call, just couldn't get the ball out. And now Kiv has a chance, a big third and seven for both these guys. I'd like to point out, I'm trying to call this game here. I'm watching User have a snack at the desk, and it looks good. Is this Snickers? Man, why are you always going to throw shade at my guy, I User? I didn't throw shade. I'm jealous. Don't have just Snickers in the Snickers <laughs> players' lounge. We got the Snickers desk up there. Sh he's shaking his head at User me. just wanted to have a snack in peace, and you got to no. call him out for it. No way. That's not Damn, how it works man. around here. He caught me with four boxes of ice cream bars in my hand. Third and seven. Kittle in motion. To be that stretch run outside. Can Alki make a tackle? Oh, what CJ. was that angle from Young Kim? And let's Johnson at the end. Let's go. And there goes CJ. 2K. Oh, 2K to the house. Come on, man. Come on. Look at the emotion from let's Noah. Go. That Chris Johnson does too fast. We saw a user mention in the pregame how that Troy Apke, you know, how would he oh, be versus, Kibbs run, or versus Noah's run attack. And in the biggest moment of the game, Troy Apke isn't fast enough to catch up with Chris Johnson. How about the performance from the 17-year-old inside Pizza Hut Stadium all week long? He is someone to not be taken lightly. Yeah, man, it was just a one-on-one -on -one situation, and Chris Johnson just too fast, gets to the outside, and boom, he's gone, and now it's back to an 18-point game again. And now the pressure back on Kiv. Looks to the flat, that's Odell Beckham. Nine yards is cool, you need three scores. Yeah, you need it fast, man. This is difficult, the clock is really against Kiv. We know he can score in a hurry. We, we've seen that so many times in Kiv's career, but four minutes to go down 18 is a horrible situation to be in. Murray on second and one. Looks like he had the crosser. He'll find John Ross right at the logo. Yeah, big play. He's going to go with some hurry up here. He got to move the ball down the field. He's on the short side of the field, but I don't think he's even going to flip. There's not enough time. Rolls out right side. Might have had X coming open over the middle, but he steps out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Clock stops. 3.36 to go. Yeah, great adjustment by Noah right there. He manned up the crosser, had it pretty bagged. Then he bit back with his user on the dig route. No choice but for uh, Kiv to run out of bounds with Kyler Murray. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Man, if you have a belt, you do not want to run into this kid. He's taking out belt winners left and right. Eckler with the carry. First down. Yeah, nice little play there. You got to get moving, though. He saw, he saw, he wanted to get the first down. He's gonna go with the field goal here. I think this is a good strategy by Kiv. Ball is down, the kick is up, and it is good. 28-13, back to a two score game. Yeah, he keeps himself in the game with that two possession game now. There's still time, he has those three timeouts, but you can't give up a first down. This, this, this series of downs right here, you have to force a four and out right now. TD, are you using your timeouts on this drive? No, I'm not. I'm going to try to get this 4 and out right here, uh, if you can, and then save them. But if you give up one first down, you're going to unfortunately have to start burning your timeouts. How impressive has Noah been? Not just working his way through the groups, but especially in the wild card game yesterday against Ghost. And then here, he is not intimidated at all. And he went 1-2 and two in his group. He didn't have a great performance in his group stage, but he came out... Uh, in this single limb part of the tournament, and he's looked great so far. He's going to let this clock run down. This is the worst time, TD. You're down, you need a stop, and you're just watching that clock bleed and bleed. Uh, it's like, man, it's like you're in a ditch and you need help, and you just can't get up, can't get out, and you're trying everything you can. You see that clock ticking. you got to step up here, Kiv. you got to make a play on defense. Second and 12. Into that strong eye out of this Denver playbook. 40 worth of mic, 40 worth of mic. Check, 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 40 Does Noah dare pass the ball here? He's flipping through all his audibles. Check, 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 check. I think he's going to call timeout here. He doesn't need those timeouts, right? He's He's got the two score lead. Oh, he's, a, he's in a great advantage. He doesn't need his timeouts. He didn't know what he wanted to do. He's trying to audible around, wasted too much time. Think about what you're doing and get back to it. Chris Johnson, the MVP for this offense for Noah. It's going to be Mariota. Stretch on the right man. side. Oh, CJ 2K. I don't even need Put to call it because Noah's on, calling man. it for me. Another score. 
He's no longer up next, TD. He's here to stay. Yeah, there's no more up next. He's here Come now. Oh man! David, Let's go! David has slayed the beast 35 to 13. And what a performance by Noah. And Kiv just puts his head down because his run defense did not come up to show. Didn't show up against this Chris Johnson, Nick. Hey, what's going through Kiv's mind right now? Are, is he just replaying every play at this moment? I, I think he's just disappointed with himself. You know, he did not play great offense in this whole tournament. He played phenomenal pass defense, but today against Noah, the run defense just was not there. But Kiv will be in that Madden Bowl, so he will have another chance at a belt later on this year. 35-13, domination! Big flex, baby. Big flex. Come on, man, let's go. Gotta love that he's also an Eagles fan. He got Fletcher Cox on the defensive line. That's just serendipity. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff there. Big Fletch making big plays. We saw him not only get a couple sacks, but out in pass defense as well. We saw a huge hit stick from him. I mean, he's doing everything with Fletcher Cox. Murray on second and 15 steps up. Andy Isabella with the catch. First down and more. Juke move on Casper. The friendly goes down to the 39-yard line. Yeah, kid never going to quit. You know, going to go with this hurry up. Try to get points on the board. Go, go for some onside kicks. Try to get something with Murray. A slide down to the 47-yard line. Clock continues to tick. Back into the shotgun. Every time he audibles out or flips a play, more time off the clock. Minute 16. As it's Murray dropping back to pass. Noah can taste the Madden Bowl. He knows he's basically got his spot clinched up. Look out for him in the Madden Bowl in April. Yeah, just incredible. His first live event, and he's gonna be, he's gonna make the final four of it, and then he's gonna get into the Madden Bowl. Just what a Cinderella story in some ways, but I know a lot of people who know this kid, and they say he is the real deal. Not a real underdog in a lot of people's eyes. TD, this game today, we talked about how important the quarterfinals are, $10,000 on the line. He's only had $8,000 in career earnings up to this point. Yeah, man, 17 years old, nice little 10 10K check. Pretty good deal right there. So to everybody back in the Snickers Players Lounge, Noah's buying dinner. First and 10, Murray stepping up. Past the line of scrimmage. Timeout taken, no more for Kiv. Yeah, Kiv just gonna play it down here to the last second. You know, trying to get in the end zone. But just, you know, it, th th this score isn't indicative of how close this really this game was. I mean, Noah did play a lot better, but it, it was really still a game until this last uh, fourth quarter. Mark Look at back on the end zone. Oh, he had Barron in position. He had Odell in position. Let's get it. False to incomplete. Yeah, back of the end zone. Unfortunate there for Kiv. 29 seconds until Noah is in the final four of the Madden Challenge. Know how proud his mom is watching this live here in Redwood City. Murray on third and five. Left side, double coverage, picked off. Didn't get his feet in bounds though. It's gonna be fourth down. Yeah, Kiv just throwing up the wheel route, you know, trying to trying to get in the end zone. And this should be the last play of the game right here. Could be the final play of this game. Fourth down and five for the Kiver. We'll see him at the Madden Bowl in April. You know he's gonna have a lot of motivation, as he always does. Murray, rolling, waiting, looking, throwing, and that's your ball game. It's Nene's GG!